Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, March 16th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com. All links will be posted in YouTube's video description. Cover the uh, economy in this video. More austerity needed in Greece, says EU and IMF. Greece will have to slash a further 5.5% of their GDP in government spending in 2013 and 2014 to meet agreed fiscal targets. So that article is from March 14th, and then we have this article uh, from today. Uh, Eurozone formally approved second Greek bailout. Eurozone countries have finally approved the second $130 billion or euro financing package for Greece, which would save the country from going bankrupt. So it goes on here and says one of the finance ministers was quoted as saying uh, that fiscal consolidation, structural reforms, and privatization was required to return the Greek economy to a sustainable path. Here's a video you can check out from Bloomberg. It says here, Fed to launch QE3 quantitative easing by end of summer. And that was Michael Pento, president of Pento Portfolio Strategies, uh, that talked about it. So the Federal Reserve is going to take propaganda to the schoolroom and will teach grades 8 through 12 students about constitutionality of the Federal Reserve System. So part of the lesson is students learning about this case, McCulloch uh, versus Maryland, a case decided in 1819 over whether the state of Maryland had the right to tax the second bank of the United States and whether Congress had violated the Constitution establishing the bank goes down there, and you can read this yourself, the whole thing. Students use their knowledge of the uh, McCulloch, Maryland case uh, and the necessary and proper clause to consider the constitutionality of the Federal Reserve System. And then Zero Hedge actually posted uh, one of the visuals. He said it speaks for itself. Zimbabwe currency, $100 trillion. And uh, here's a little reader that you can go and check out the whole thing, constitutionality of a central bank. And from Bloomberg, consumer prices in U.S. rose in February as gasoline prices jumped. So this is a big telltale sign of the economy. Sears had closed 62 stores by July to reduce costs. And that basically means that people can't afford higher quality goods, so they have to go to Target, Kmart, Walmart. Doomsday survey, 51% of Americans believe a financial collapse is imminent. 85% say countries overwhelmingly underprepared. So the website uh, says that it shouldn't be surprising uh, the results of the National Geographic uh, study or poll because it says here there's 3 million preppers in the U.S. getting ready for widespread disaster. Gun sales are skyrocketing, which I covered just on Wednesday. Retail precious metal purchases at unprecedented levels. But among other things, a survey asked respondents to choose which natural or man-made doomsday scenarios they believed are most uh, likely to happen in the United States. The results suggest that Americans are more aware of the dangers facing our fragile society than ever before. It goes on and says, oh, what do you think will happen in the next 25 years in the United States? And it says response. The majority of them said 64% uh, uh, significant uh, earthquake or hurricane followed by terrorist attack financial collapse, significant blackout, pandemic such as super virus, nuclear fallout, or none of these. And I just had a poll similar to this on ggnonline.com about when uh, people think that the crap's going to hit the fan. The majority of them said within the next 12 months, said about how many uh, years from now, if ever, do you think it's likely that the world will experience a major catastrophe? Your best guess is fine. It says the majority, 17%, said in less than a year. Now you could try figuring out that math there and the percentages, but I'm going to keep moving. Response, natural. Uh, it says here, uh, if it were to happen, these major catastrophes, uh, what would you think it would be, man-made or natural? Uh, it says here that 71% said natural, such as a hurricane or earthquake, followed by 30% man-made. Now, unfortunately, most of the things that we consider acts of God or natural are actually man-made uh, harp, weather modification weapons. So, and uh, you know, and the crazy thing is, is that all I think all of these things are going to happen. I think it's going to be a man-made uh, uh, disaster, created disaster, weather weapons. It's going to happen within a year. And all of these things are going to happen. You're going to have the uh, financial collapse. You're going to have blackouts. You're going to have the release of uh, a laboratory uh, bioweapons, i.e. viruses, financial collapse. It's all going to happen within the same period. So I don't think it's going to be one thing or the other. Why am I leaving Goldman Sachs? That was the original article. I'll go back to it. Goldman Sachs plays damage control. Goldman Sachs said it will examine claims by an employee who quit Wednesday that executives 
uh, callously talk about ripping their clients off in order more money for their security for the employee 33 year old Greg Smith wrote in New York Times that he had decided to walk away from his 12 year career at Goldman Sachs because the firm's uh, quote toxic and destructive and quote culture 1200 word denunciation that ricocheted around the world and sharply di divided tweets Facebook comments and blog posts he said, I knew it was time to leave when I realized I could no longer look students in the eye and tell them it was a great place to work. Uh, he was basically talking about how he had went through uh, different uh, places and recruited candidates for their interview process. To sum up what he said up here, he said basically there was a culture within the company where there was trust and teamwork and everything. He said all that's basically gone. And he goes on, he says that when... The history books are written about Goldman Sachs and may reflect that the current chief officer, uh, Mr. Blankfein, and the president uh, lost hold of the firm's culture on their watch. He said, I truly believe that the decline in the firm's moral fiber represents the single most serious threat to its long-run survival. It goes on and says he was the executive director at Goldman Sachs and head of the firm's United States equity derivatives business in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. So company officials quickly launched a public relations counteroffensive Wednesday that minimized Mr. Smith's role at the firm. Goldman Sachs wrote that Mr. Smith was, quote, one of nearly 12,000 vice presidents among more than 30,000 employees at the company. So I've covered an article before uh, talking about how the police in the UK are preparing for riots in the spring and one of the things that they want is water cannons water cannons may be on our streets within months tear gas tasers also on police wish list to combat riots and I'll just uh, go through these articles briefly because I mentioned some on Wednesday fuel blame for fall in UK uh, incomes British households are more than 2,000 uh, pounds a year worse off than they were in 2007 then we have secret EU deal forces Britain to take 12,000 Indian workers despite soaring unemployment. Then we have uh, unemployment is at a 17-year high. Women make up 80% of those. Then we have this, force them to work. Think tank calls on ministers to get tough on, I guess, deadbeat fathers, what they call it in the UK, feckless fathers. It says here that they should be forced to take a job if they refuse to pay for the upkeep of their child, a think tank uh, demanded last night. So this is a think tank that's promoting it to the government. And it says here, uh, this center-right policy exchange called for a job placement program, which would be similar to the controversial scheme that last month sparked accusations that young people uh, were being forced into slave labor. So, you know, your money is worth less and... Um, you're having a hard time finding a job. Unemployment's at a record high. So, you know, there's a good chance that you got a divorce because of that. So that if you, you know, it's like if you can't, the money that you're going to get isn't going to really be made to support a family. So then when you can't support your family, they're going to force you into work at some job that doesn't exist. Finishing up, in the longer term, however, such a policy should reduce the burden on taxpayers by getting at least some of these men back into useful employment. If they refuse to enroll uh, onto these work schemes, and benefits should be withdrawn. So, you know, police and military, they're training for these riots. Uh, you know, these uh, riots, as far as food riots, eventually is what it's going to become. And so that's what all of this is for. I mean, this whole Occupy movement was not from the grassroots. It was from the top down. And this is just to get the police um, prepared, get them trained uh, for what's coming. And to, uh, of course, have all these little toys that they're going to have, like water cannons. Next up, in inefficient use threatens European water sources. says here the European Environmental or Environment Agency has warned that the continent's water resources are under pressure due to continued uh, inefficient use of water. It says here the critical thing for us is that we are seeing an increasing number of regions where river basins because of climate change i.e. spraying of aerosols by planes are experiencing water scarcity. This is from February 15, 2012. Half of UK households could face water restrictions by April. And then here in the United States experts predict a hot and dry summer. This was just February 29, 2012. And you know the crazy part is it's like today uh, you know, I noticed that it's been warmer all of a sudden just in the past three days. It just went from being cold, you know, pretty pretty cold, and then all of a sudden now it's hot. Now it's like 80 degrees. And I've noticed this has been – it's been like this for at least the last four years where it just – the spring just – there is no kind of spring spring. It just kind of goes from being cold 
and usually you'll have the wet uh, chemtrail rain, but it'll be cold and then it'll just get hot to 80 degrees. And that's because of the spring. It's like the moment they get to March, it's like, oh, see, it's March. Now we can just go ahead and we can just fry them, you know, turn on the scalar, the scalar technology, the harp, uh, get those, uh, get those uh, uh, little metal aerosol particles out there in the atmosphere. And let's heat this sucker up. You know, because if they could do it in the dead of winter, they could. They could make it 80 degrees up here in the Midwest uh, if they wanted to in the winter. But then people start asking questions. But as soon as they get to March, bam, then it starts. Then March 9, 2012, tempers rise as taps run dry in city. It says the areas do not receive regular or sufficient supply of water due to old infrastructure, corroded pipes, and leakage of water results in low pressure of water supply. And this is in India. But again, they're just going to jack your rates up anyways. It doesn't. It's not really based off anything. They're just going to jack them up. And um, it could be due to old pipes and stuff like that that's not getting to people. Uh, but it says here, industry news, it's about a stereo is what it is too. Just, you know, like eating less and stuff like that. Uh, reducing your carbon footprint. Carbon-12 is one of the five elements in the human DNA composed of six protons, six electrons, and six neutrons. Carbon, your carbon footprint is your bloodline. It's you. To reduce you while they have their own Angus beef. It says here, industry news, 100% jump in sewer rates also possible. Sewer rates could double over the next decade as the city of Ashland complies with environmental regulations. Ooh, Envirex complies with environmental regulations and upgrades to the community sewer. So how come the freaking money that you're spending doesn't go towards the upkeep? You ever notice that? No, they always have to do bailouts for the breaking bridges and the roads. you got to have bailouts and you got to have these bonds and... Then we have this, industry news, water rates may double in 10 years. So again, city officials have difficult plan for the residents. And why? Because Water Advisory Committee uh, recommended for the improvements to the town's water system. Just like the quote, starving people in Africa, it's not because there's not enough food. It's just because something's happening between the food getting to them. Well, somebody's getting screwed and somebody's benefiting. The era of cheap and abundant clean water is coming to a close. Secret Society conspires to hike water rates, seize power, district claims. Says here, under the California Public Records Act, documents found that it revealed that those agencies joined together in a secret shadow government to control water rates and other decisions at California's largest, largest public water agency and discriminate against the San Diego County Water Authority and its tax rate payer. So even if you do get it, water firm wrapped over poisoning, a coroner has criticized a water authority for gambling with the lives of 20,000 people by not telling them for more than a fortnight okay about britain's worst mass poisoning so are we talking about fluoride no we're not talking about that poison we're talking about what aluminum sulfate sulfate which was a uh, mistake mistakenly added to 20,000 tons of it to the drinking water at lormore treatment work there's some propaganda without a smart grid electricity prices will soar right as if they're not already electricity prices in western countries will soar 400 percent in the next 30 years of electricity grids do not become smart grids according to dr guido bardo's chairman of the global smart grid federation and general manager of ibm's global energy and utilities industry household electricity bills to skyrocket in the last five years and it goes on it says here in another article 2000 pound fuel bill energy prices could soar by 60 percent by 21 2021 says experts will plunge even more customers into fuel poverty and so of course that's what they want to do they want to freeze you to death they want to work you to death and um eventually they want you to starve to death you know, they'll be handing out little rations of food and food cards saying, basically, if you don't keep your populations down, you don't get them down, you don't meet the quotas, then you don't get the food subsidies. Opportunistic thieves sought after stealing jewelry uh, moments after bus crashed into pawnbrokers. And this always goes on in society, but you're going to see this even more and more and more. Uh, stealing off people that are in bad shape. Cr uh, grime wave, it's a dirty job. Police nationwide take on soaring tide detergent uh, fat. Look at that. More horses are killed. They said it was due to the uh, ground being too firm. It could be because what? They don't have enough water because what? Oh, all the aerosol spraying, the redistributing, all the uh, 
the water. The moisture, HBO cancels horse racing series luck. So I mentioned in the comment board to a listener about how these cheetah bots, these cheetah robots can be turned into uh, like a velociraptor or dinosaurs. And I saw this, scientists are bringing back extinct woolly mammoth. And think about it, like a Jurassic Park, who would come and, who would come and hunt these animals down? Well, Donald Trump's sons, criticized after brutal hunting photo release. It's a big flipping club. Again, and we're not in it.